So, new project. I decided that I could use a trailer that's somewhere between the size of the little 4x8s that I have and the giant 26 foot trailer, especially during planting season this spring when I was trying to shoehorn uh, barrels full of seed on top of that big gooseneck trailer. And it dawned on me, it's like, man, if I could get someone out here with another truck and put another trailer behind it and leave the seat in that, that would be a lot easier. So that's what I'm building this for. And obviously once I have it, it's gonna be like a long 12 foot flatbed trailer. So uh, it's gonna have a whole bunch of other uses as well. So this is the project truck that we're working on. This uh, is a 1992, 92, 93, it says on the title, I'd have to go look, but 92 or 93 Ford F-350 with the 7.3 liter uh, old IDI engine, I believe. This one is of course engineless. It only has 80 something thousand miles on it. So says the owner, but the problem is that uh, somebody blew it up trying to start it with ether. So he pulled the engine, he was gonna fix it. Engine sat in a million pieces, decided he uh, wasn't really interested in messing with it anymore. So he cut his losses and sold it to me. So behold, this is going to be interesting, definitely. Um, yeah. Am likely not answering that. Now, some people out there really don't like pickup bed trailers. They say they're redneck and hokey or whatever. The reality is you can make these things as nice as you want. I'm building this for farm use, so it doesn't have to be the fanciest thing in the world. Uh, what I know about these things is they're pretty easy to make. This will be my third one. This was the first behind me here. This is just off a half ton Chevy out of the 1980s. They're incredibly sturdy. You know, the axle, look at this. We got an eight lug axle. I looked it up. Assuming that's the axle, I think it is, that's an 8,800 pound rated capacity axle. So there's a lot of weight we can pile on top of this thing and man, are they ever cheap. I'll tell you, I paid more for this truck than any of the other ones that I made in two pickup bed trailers unless memory fails me, which it might. And I gave a whopping $650 reduce for this. Quite frankly, the, the uh, 12 foot flatbed itself is worth more than that. And uh, it just keeps getting better. Look at this, this has pretty much brand new tires on it. Like I think the little fuzzy things are worn off. You can still see one there on the side, uh, but they're pretty much brand new all the way around. And there's these nice mud tires back here. But this is the gift that doesn't stop giving. Where'd my flashlight go? Because it has this gigantic auxiliary tank. Which is uh, pretty much completely full of very fresh diesel fuel. And then it has a massive regular fuel tank as well, which is probably at least 50 gallons. And I'm told that's also full. So we're probably looking at 80 gallons of fuel, uh, plus brand new tires, 12 foot flatbed, all for 650 bucks. If I didn't get the title with it, I might be asking some questions right about now. Man, oh, I'm wondering if I can do this. Oof. If I wasn't so much of a savage, I probably would have some reservations right about now. What can I tell you guys? Once a scrapper, always a scrapper. Oh. 
So I'm pulling parts off of this, the transmission's out, the cab has uh, been off since before lunch, and I've listed both this whole cab assembly and the transmission for sale on a couple of online classifieds. And you guys know, Lucky already knows, you guys know it really activates my almonds. I put right in the ad, I'm selling this as one complete unit. You know, if I was a kid in high school, it would be a dream job to pull like one little part off of this and sell it for five bucks and then spend like an hour of my life pulling something else off and selling it for 20 bucks. You know, that's a great way to make some money. That's actually what I used to do with old tractors and old farm junk. But, uh, you know, quite frankly, I don't have time for that kind of thing, and that's why I put in the ad, I'm selling this as one unit. And still, even though it's only been up there for maybe a couple hours at this point, I've heard from so many people who are like, how much for this random part? How much for that random part? I, it says, I'm selling everything, not willing to piece this out. If you don't, if you see an ad for something like this and you don't want to buy the whole thing, don't contact the person. What's so hard about that? What is it, buddy? Even you understand this. All right, so very nice gentleman just came out to pick up the cab assembly. I finally persisted through all those people who only want a part off of it. And the good news is my $650 dually uh, pickup project with new tires and full fuel tanks now cost even less. I don't know about you guys, I am, where's my light? There it is. You know, if this wasn't a farm trailer, I would probably put another deck on this, but that's gonna add probably three to $400 just in materials. And uh, I'll be honest with you guys, this is rather ugly, but like I said, it's made for moving seed and also some firewood and maybe some random junk here and there. So it doesn't have to be pretty, it just has to be strong, but I am gonna try to clean this up and get these patches looking at least a little better. And uh, I've cleaned out the gunk from around here. We'll use the old seal to tap in the new one here.
All right, well, now I know what I have and we got a uh, new seal in here. All right, so I built this trailer probably about a month or so ago. I haven't gotten to do anything with it I've been meaning to. It's the start of hay season, just way too busy. And I figured a good test for it would be hauling all this seed out and the spreader, which I'm gonna spread it with, on one of my hay fields. I try not to say how many acres I'm working, but you guys can kind of make some rough estimates from this stuff. Oh uh, yeah, so I got the cedar, got it strapped down, trying out the D-rings, got the chain unloaded with PTO shaft for it. Those spray cans don't actually belong in here, but whatever. Yeah, I meant to take this on a bit of a test drive with no load on it, but you know, loading it down with uh, expensive seed that's pretty much irreplaceable because everybody's buying it right now, and a uh, machine that I desperately need to run this operation and hit the road, same difference pretty much. <sighs> All right, so, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. standards of course and I'm happy with how things are going uh, you know there's always a little bit of self-doubt that you're gonna lose a wheel or something off a creation like this I, I won't say I was that worried about it because if I was that worried about it you know I would have just stayed home with this thing but um, still you know you got to figure you got those eight big beefy lugs that hold on uh, all four wheels and, and all that holds on the hub is this goofy little ratcheting nut thing <laughs> not a system that inspires confidence but you know all that you can do is uh, buy the proper tool which I did and torque it to uh, whatever it was 55 or 60 foot pounds and back off uh, six clicks or eight clicks or whatever that thing said to do and uh, say your prayers and hit the road and so far so good um, yeah now I really like this uh, this trailer the concept with this is I can put it behind the truck and it has working lights and everything and I can use it to go and pick up seed either in bag form or in bulk via 55 gallon drums 
and then I could drive it home with the truck, throw it behind the tractor, set the uh, broadcast spreader on top, and then uh, drive out to the field and use it to service the tractor as it runs out of seed. So it should be a super versatile little trailer. And, uh, you know, today's either going to be totally fine or we're going to lose a wheel off it. I don't think there's much in between. But this farm is uh, seven, eight miles from home, if I had to guess, as the crow flies. And so far, so good. All right. Let's see how this thing did. Hitch seems to be fine. Thing on the uh, trailer mover has not bent. That's good. Or broken. That's also good. Mmm, tiny bit warmer than ambient temperature. Ah, oh, look at all this beautiful wild rye. Okay. Probably even cooler than the other side. I don't believe we've lost a drop of oil from either side. Nice, all right, I think we're good. We are doing it. It's getting them out. Seed, 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 seed. Seeds here, seeds here, seeds everywhere. Seeds everywhere. I love it. First uh, high speed use of this trailer today. You can hopefully kind of see it back there a little bit. So uh, worked flawlessly last night, got home in one piece. What I'm gonna do today, cause this is the first time it's really been uh, like up to speed if you will, is I'm going to, uh, when I'm done with this, jack up the axle and we'll check it for play. You know, like rock the wheels back and forth and see if they move. But I've been watching them in the mirrors and uh, everything seems to be running true. And to my knowledge, we haven't lost even a drop of oil so far. So very, very happy. What a beautiful day for hauling stuff too. 